Well, when an earthquake hits, seconds matter, and the county tested its emergency alert system for earthquakes today, jarring people who were expecting it, as well as those who weren't. 10 News reporter Jennifer De La Cruz joins us live, and that alert, Jen, will give people the chance to take cover before a quake happens. Yeah, Lindsay, we're not going to air that sound because it's an FCC rule, but it was pretty hard to miss it if you did get that alert earlier today. It sounds similar to what you get when an Amber Alert goes off. It's supposed to give you just enough seconds to hide and it could eventually save your life. You're probably one of three and a half million people in San Diego County who got this alert today. The first test of an earthquake early warning system called Shake Alert. Just a bunch of beep, 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 beeps. Everyone's looking at their phone. Everyone's grabbing their phone out of their pockets. Here's how it works. Scientists detect the first wave of energy from an earthquake. They then estimate magnitude and location of the next region that'll be affected. The alert goes out before the secondary wave hits, which brings the strongest shaking and causes the most damage. We want people to be under their tables or to take that protective action before those larger shaking waves arrive. You'll only have seconds to prepare just long enough to take cover. It gives you a heads up at least to what's going on around you. We did an experiment to see how well it worked. We set up about a dozen phones with both local and out of state numbers. All of them went off but one. Kind of concerning how uh, I wasn't even aware that that was a system, but at least it's keeping me safe. So I'm kind of down with that. The alert is also supposed to protect some of our most critical systems that can be severely damaged. Things like trains and water systems will be alerted so they can slow down or shut off. Now they're still working out the technology, so it's possible you may not have gotten the alert. The county knows about that and they want to hear from you. They say it could depend on a lot of factors, depending on what type of cell phone you have and where you were at the time. We have a link on our website to fill out that survey. We're reporting live, Jennifer Dela Cruz, 10 News.